connect the cuts. Connect the cuts, connect the cuts. Connect the cuts, connect the cuts. It's against God's will, you know. So we're diving right into Higurashi episode 2. I just finished episode 1. It was a good reintroduction into the series. We got a lot about Rina. Seems like we're going to be focusing on her and her backstory. A lot of information given about her parents, her mom, and her dad breaking up. As far as what she's going to do this episode, I think it's about time that she goes on her killing spree. So yeah, let's, let's go. Harder? Oh, work harder, that's right. We're literally just picking off from there. Oh, no. The hammer. Blue tarp? What? Bro, holy shit, this... Oh, uh, this anime, man. Bro, I'm sorry, bro. I know you just woke up. I know your, your head probably hurts from drinking too much. But, uh, it's about to get a much worse. Okay, she's uh, she's very creepy right now, dude. <laughs> I feel like when shit goes down this episode, she's just gonna be watching from some the sidelines or something. Yo, what does she keep getting? Order away? Okay, what? And more tools? Okay, that one saw right there looks freaking wild. What the frick? Wait, who is that? Oh no. Imagine walking into your own death. How how do you even do she's probably going crazy right now in the head. Reina, she's probably going crazy. Well, you're you're going to you're going to regret wanting to meet her. Oh god, here we go. Is she going to she's not going to kill her right here though, right? She's going to have to like take her somewhere or at least bring her inside. I don't know how far along her mania has gone though. Look for treasure. Oh, bro, she's gonna bring her to the the trash pile. Holy shit. Oh no. Literally lying. Literally lying. They said it was gonna rain. You know what's f funny? How her name is Rena and then her name is Reina, but she took out the I from her name because whatever her reasons were. But her name is Reina, but without the E. Very interesting. I feel like there's something there more that you could... Bro, is that the... Is that the saw? Is that the saw from the thing? The kind of treasure that kills you. Oh my god. Oh my god. She came inside... Bro, you should not. Oh, she's twitching. She's twitching. Why don't you just do it, you little pussy? The hell? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh, dude. Holy crap. Oh. But how is a child strength uh, stronger than yours? That's what I want to know. Oh, dude. She's... In the rain with the lamp, the lighting and everything right now is just... Just, uh, just... What is that going to do? Oh, shit. She actually hit her. Get out. 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 The fucking cleaver, dude. Get out. And of course she trips, right? Because, of course. Dude. 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 Don't you dare trip again. Just get out. Just climb. Oh. Oh.
Oh my god. Oh my god. Why was she laughing right there? Oh, she's fucking dead, dude. Yo! There it is. There it is. And boys, that is Higarashi. In a nutshell. The best slice of life horror you will ever see. She put the lamp on her? Oh, she's about to go to work, boys. She's chopping off her arm? And she chopped her up and put her into a bunch of different pieces. Bro, she is off the shit right now. Yeah, I remember this scene from season one as well. He he didn't he didn't see. Oh my god. Oh my god. Work even harder? Oh no. Oh no, KG. Damn, bro. Rip. Dude, that fucking cleaver is that is diesel as fuck. That is some shit. That looks like a miniature version of Cloud's uh, Buster Sword. Guys, there's a uh, spider right on my wall right now. I don't know what to do. I guess I'm going to let it rock for now, but... Bro, she is going to kill the fuck out of him. Oh my god. Who is this? Oh, Keiichi's mom. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is, uh... This is when his, fan, his mom leaves and then, uh, Rina... Okay, no, what the fuck? Not gonna get in a stranger's fucking car? That's weird as shit. Oh, she got in. Alright. The daughter of one of her customers. Yo, this guy, if he didn't do what he did in that one uh, episode, or one scene, then I would have uh, liked him a little bit more. But, you know, he was a victim just like everyone else. I want to see how that came about, though. I'm sure we'll get that uh, in this season, though. Okay, so that was episode 2 of Higurashi When They Cry. So it's we continue on with the story of Rina. We get her perspective even more and more. We see a lot of the events that we saw early on in season one with Keiichi when honestly I thought he was the main character because I didn't know anything about Higurashi. We see a lot of the events that happened from her perspective now, especially at the trash dump. And there was so much more to it than we thought. You know, that moment in season one when Keiichi shows up unannounced to the to the garbage dump and she's surprised. I thought it was just, okay, maybe she's just being sus because she's, you know, just being sus. But all of that happened because she killed uh, Rina and chopped her up and uh, stored her away over there. I just, it's a lot. It's just, I like anime that do, I like shows that do that in general. Show you something that happens and then later on give you so much more backstory behind it and reveal what actually led up to those events i like that structure plot wise i'm not sure what i can glean from this episode besides the fact that satoko is just watching everything happen she watched reina chop up reina and uh that that's pretty much it for that so satoko is still the evil mastermind mastermind behind everything that's going on She's making Reina pretty much spiral into a crazed frenzy. And we know what's going to happen next. We know what she's going to do to Keiichi. So, yeah, I guess we're going to get to see it from her perspective. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do for this. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave me a like. Let me know what you guys thought down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.